Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk about my art piece, An Unfamiliar Landscape. In early January, I started looking into making an entry for a contest that encouraged students to make art inspired by a Canadian artist. I started by researching the previous winner's entries before eventually deciding on the Group of Seven member, Franklin Carmichael. After that, I began the process of studying his work, taking notes on his color palettes, his compositions, and his art style. I even painted a small recreation of one of his paintings for practice. Next, I started considering how to take my own twist on this style and themes, until finally settling on a rough draft. For two months, I spent roughly a total of 60 hours carefully painting tiny details on mountains, houses, and concrete, before finally sending my entry off to the contest and presenting it to my class. I explained to them how it's a painting inspired by my childhood memories growing up around the mountain range close to my grandmother's home. It's about the isolation I feel between myself and the Japanese part of my identity due, the, due to the pandemic canceling our travel plans to visit family. I went through each and every aspect of symbolism and imagery I added to the piece and how it connected to either my own experiences, my intentions, or Japanese culture. I got a lot of good feedback from my peers and that should have been the end of it. However, there was one small issue. I hate the fucking painting. <laughs> oh. Painting the art, painting the piece felt more like a school assignment rather than a passion project, and even when I was finished, I never felt satisfied. The only aspect of the experience that I enjoyed was the knowledge that I might be able to win some money from the contest. And upon this realization, I recognized that if I continued to make art where my enjoyment only came from external factors, I would likely face a career full of burnout and exhaustion. And so, with that unappealing future in mind, I stayed in denial. I kept trying to convince myself that how I felt was wrong. After all, I did everything right. I thoroughly planned off my rough draft, I challenged myself technically with the piece, and the concept was personal and honest. Well, actually, that wasn't necessarily true. Although I never lied about any of the experiences or emotions that I made the painting about, there was a disconnect between my concept and the execution of the piece. Much like many other artists, I make art as a coping mechanism to process my emotions and experiences. However, writing this art talk made me realize that expressing myself through visual symbolism and metaphors doesn't do that for me. It doesn't give me the same satisfaction or emotional payback that my other art does, which is why creating an unfamiliar landscape felt so dishonest and awkward. Because the type of art I was making didn't act as an outlet for my emotions. This leads me to an art piece that I actually enjoy making. It was a side project that I never planned to show to any audiences or had tried to monetize. My Dungeons and Dragons campaign. <laughs> it's a rough, unedited, under-researched project made purely for my own satisfaction, and I love it. For years now, I've created maps, cultures, and histories for my world. Oh, sorry. Um, written down uh, dozens of fully thought out characters, each of their known each with their own name, backstory, personality, and motivations. Despite this, never once have I felt unsatisfied or burnt out about the project. Unlike with my painting, working on this project allowed me to process my experiences in an emotionally and creatively fulfilling way. By using storytelling as a tool, I was able to explore the feelings of isolation I felt being separated from my heritage and family during the pandemic. By projecting myself onto these characters and narratives, I have the freedom to properly process my emotions in a safe, controlled environment. Despite this project literally taking place in a fantasy world, it is the most honest art piece I've ever worked on. So, where does this lead me? Currently, I'm in the process of experimenting with different ways I can marry my passion for oil painting with my love of storytelling. It's still an ongoing process, however, I look forward to seeing where my future in art takes me. I wanted to share this journey with everyone as I believe that there's a lot of controversies and stereotypes in the art world about what art should look like, and the correct reasons why someone should be making art. I believe that these biases prevented me from reaching this realization about my relationship to art far sooner. As such, I hope there are people out there who are listening that can learn from my mistakes and instead focus on what feels the most honest and makes you the happiest. Thank you.